Good evening, fellow YouTube modelers. Uh, this is uh, going to be another quickie video. Uh, pulled this one off the shelf. I started this build about two years ago. Uh, I believe it started out as a Facebook build, like an online build contest, but I, I just lost interest and just kind of ended up on the shelf and never to be touched again for about a year or so. But anyway, uh, this is basically just a, an AMT white freight liner, single day cab, single axle. Uh, but it's undergone a lot of extensive modifications. Uh, first thing you can see is it's got different wheels on it. Those are uh, uh, resin five hole wheels from Mo Aluminum, along with his steer tires and rubber drive tires. Uh, the cab, because of its silly design, where it's actually two pieces and it's got a seam here, I actually ended up, uh, after uh, gluing the two halves together, filling the seam, And sanding it down, of course, then you lose all your uh, body detail. So all the rivets that were lost in the sanding process were replaced with uh, Archer transfers, which are actually three-dimensional resin details that are applied to decal paper, and you apply them just like you would decals. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of a a line that you, is visible but uh, once it gets cleared that will kind of disappear but as I said it's been sitting for a while so you can see my pinstripe beams coming loose uh, same thing on the uh, fuel tanks I use chrome pinstriping and that's starting to come loose so I'll have to clean that up a little bit but uh, the other modification that I did was the exhaust. The kit comes uh, with dual exhaust as your only option. So basically I just eliminated the mounting bracket for the other side and modified the exhaust pipe and eliminated the cross the, the Y pipe here and just created a single and used a muffler and heat shield from the parts bin Probably looks like it's from like an Italery kit and then it's got a aluminum tubing for the stack that uh, was kind of polished out a little bit and then uh, weathered with some uh, with some black uh, flat black from the, with an airbrush uh, you can see this kit the, the truck is probably about at this point about 80% complete. Uh, the interior still needs to be done, but as far as the frame, all the components are pretty much done. And the cab is pretty much done. It just needs to obviously you need to I need to clean up the pinstriping and then put a coat of clear on it, and then we can just move on to the interior. But uh, I got so many other projects on the board right now. I think I'm gonna finish up this Kenworth, which is my current build, and get that one done before I go back to this one because this is gonna take quite a bit of work to get it finished with all the modifications that I've done to it. I'm also doing, uh, instead of the kit, one piece windows that fit from inside, uh, I have some uh, thin, clear, uh, I think they call it acetate clear plastic real thin it's almost scale thickness and then I'm uh, mounting that flush with the with with the body so it looks more prototypical but that's I think that's about where I was when I ran out of steam on this one because that was going to be kind of a pain trying to get that window to fit in there perfectly especially with those windshield wipers. I didn't want to go through the hassle of taking those windshield wipers off and replacing them with 
scratch built because nobody makes photo etched windshield wipers in that style. But anyway, that's the Freightliner. Uh, that's going to go back on the shelf temporarily until I get to Kenworth done, and then that'll come back out on the bench. So look for updates on that one. Thanks a lot. See ya.